Right now, more than 1,500 people are battling COVID in Oklahoma hospitals, 434 of them in the ICU. And today we heard from an emergency room doctor in eastern Oklahoma who says his facility is so full he sees critical patients sitting in the ER for hours waiting on space. Where that recently hit home for me was I had a colleague tell me they transferred a patient to South Dakota. These families have to worry about not just how their loved one is doing, but how to get them back when they're better. That, that's not something that insurances cover. Right now, at least 22,000 people statewide are battling COVID-19. Thank you for joining us here tonight at 5 o'clock. We hope that you'll be here for the news at 6. Right now, we're going to send you to World News with David Muir in New York. Take care. We thank you for joining us here at 5. KBC 9's Laura Morris has a look at what we're working on for 6. Haley, tonight at 6, doctors say a lawsuit opposing masks in school is not based on science or facts, the risk children face if they catch COVID. Plus, answering the call, dozens of trucks in the Kansas City area are loading up and heading south to help those left in the dark. Their mission on KNBC 9 News at 6. I'll stick with the coffee. No, that's, no, I'm saying I'll Hard stick seltzer. with the Starbucks. That's stick... nighttime. I... You're talking daytime. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk yeah. after, Tim. You'll have to explain it to me. I'm going to explain it to you later. <laughs> Tonight at 11, a local family loses their young son in a tragic boating accident. Why a judge is ruling the boat's manufacturer owes them millions of dollars. That story and more tonight on WPBF 25 News at 11. Chris? Yeah, playing again. Nothing but hot and weather ahead. A little better chance for showers and storms Thursday into Friday. And then if that front drops through, a little less humidity right in time for the week. All right, should we go get some spiked seltzer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll see you back here at 11. Hey there, I'm Diana Gutierrez. Join us tomorrow morning on 12 News This Morning. Most Wisconsin students head back to class. The first day of school traditions and making a comeback after more than a year of virtual learning. Lindsay? And I'm tracking a pretty beautiful forecast as the kids are heading out the door. Plus, those dew points stay nice and low. I'll let you know when rain makes a comeback. That's coming up on the news starting at 430. Another reminder, WISN 12 and the Salvation Army are collecting donations for our Class Act school supply drive for kids in need in our area as they head back to school. If you'd like to make a financial donation, head to WISN.com slash Class Act, or you can text WISN to 24365 to make a donation. We'll see you back here for 12 News at 6. World News with David Muir is coming up next. has a final check of the forecast at five. Yeah, really, really nice this evening. What a change from yesterday when it was a little humid. And then, of course, we were tracking storms to come in last night. Now, uh, all clear this evening. Temperatures be in the 70s and eventually low to mid 60s by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow will be a little warmer and more humid again. Uh, 85 degree high temperature, also 85 on Thursday. Next front in the area Thursday night with a chance of showers and thunderstorms and a lingering rain chance into Friday. OK, Bill, thanks. That's our report at five. Thanks for joining us. We're back here in 30 minutes with more local news. Up next, World News Tonight. We want to leave you with this tonight. It's kind of interesting. It's a rocket launch and it goes sideways. Yeah, Paige, it literally goes sideways <laughs> yeah. in this. The unmanned rocket, it took flight and then it went in the wrong direction. Yep, sideways. Oh. This was actually the <laughs> third launch attempt by the commercial space flight company Astra. While the rocket did eventually go up like it should, the uh, imperfect launch did cause the uh, startup's stock to fall. Yeah, we did see that today. But there you have it. Thanks for joining us. We are all out of time here at 4029 News at 5 o'clock. We'll have a whole new newscast for you, we promise, at 6 o'clock. You don't want to miss it. But for now, it's David Muir and World News Tonight, Brandon. It's Pittsburgh's Action News for at 6. Our next newscast is at 7 o'clock on Cozy TV. Thanks for being with us tonight. Stay tuned for ABC's World News Tonight with David Muir. And we'll see you back here at 11 o'clock. Have a good night. This has been a presentation of Pittsburgh's Action News 4.
Tracker Radar Network, just not much rain across coastal Georgia and the low country, mainly dry for this evening into tonight. Still some clouds hanging around. Keep an umbrella on standby tomorrow. Some spotty showers are possible. That rain chance, though, is only at 30 percent. will be close to 90. Cooling back slightly Friday and Saturday. It's all about the nighttime lows dipping into the 60s. That will feel nice and refreshing. The holiday weekend forecast, Suntastic, is back, especially Saturday into Sunday as our daytime highs climb from 87 to 90 degrees. Shannon. It was 80s. Thanks so much, Jeremy. Thank you all for watching us at 6. World News Tonight is next. We'll see you back here tonight at 7. Have a wonderful evening.